Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, over the weekend I was busy preparing stuff, but while I was doing that, my AE2 system got completely full and all of the discs were chock-a-block with stuff. And the reason for it was because I was overloaded with stuff. Uh, and actually what I was overloaded was with these three things here. So I'll look at those. So I was overloaded with um, well, 117,000 uncompressed coal, 106, well, almost the same for uh, mass cobblestone, and 500,000 of moon rock, and it was moon rock that was basically causing all the problems. So what I've done here is I've created some, these are resonant ca uh, caches, so they can hold 640,000 items, which I think is the, probably the best we can do in this pack, and then three export buses to export it out. But I'm not really happy with that, I will be honest. Because they would be better if those were not export buses, but they were um, storage buses. Then we could actually pull the items back in again and keep it separate. So let's have a look. How do we make a storage bus? Let's have a look at this. Bus is basically this one, I think, an ME storage bus. So we've got to make an ME interface and two pistons, one sticky one normal so let's see what we can do for ME interfaces can we make one of those we sure can just just glass just any glass basically and formation cores. so let's make a couple of these let's make three now hopefully I've got enough stuff for that and then we'll also make these storage buses let's put that in there and then make three storage buses so I've got now a limitless potential that's good to know let's remove these and put these into here like that and I'm going to set the priority on these if, if priority exists actually in this version of A2 I suspect it does I have to be honest with you I think I prefer this version of A2 than the one with all the channels I think the ones with all the channels just makes life complicated not partition storage oh well does it make any difference because we've only got those bi-directional output configuration settings and priority should be here so let's make the priority on this one. Do the same with this one. So the items come in here first before they go elsewhere. And then that should make this accessible. So with a bit of luck, I'm going to give it a lag at the moment and I'm not sure why. This should also be getting, ah yes, this was running out of carbon. So now it's getting carbon in again because I basically sucked all the carbon out of the system so there was none in here to be processed. So that's good. That was what I was hoping to achieve with that one. So I've just made some ME, interf ME interface seven type. Well, you saw me do that, so I'm not going to do it again. But what I'd like to do is to finish off the automation that I did last on the last episode um, for the circuits and stuff. So I've been preparing some stuff and that's downstairs here. In this chest you see I prepared some patterns they're actually fairly simple as well so the recipe for that's just the recipe for patterns going to check now look at that one oh <laughs> it moves around every time you press it escape e. oh. I don't see a pattern in here but let's have a look for pattern this blank pattern so basically that's really no problem three iron three glowstone and two quartz glass quartz glass we've done before with this nether quartz or certis quartz dust and that makes four so that's not too bad so we can make I made a few patterns and I put them already set them up so let's take out of this chest what we actually need for this so we've got import buses ME interfaces export buses some cable just in case we need it and some interfaces here I've got two ME interfaces and I've got these these are all basically made up. Let's take these out of here like that. There should be another one. Silicon. Yeah, that's it. Fine. So all we need to do now to automate this is to put on this one, in this case, an ME interface. So let's do that first of all. Actually, I want the thin ones. Let's do the thin ones on this one. Like that. So what we can do with this ME interface, we can tell it how to make circuits 
So let's do that. Circuits of these three. So we'll start with the. They'll do them in that order, and we'll also put silicon press in here, so we can do the silicon pattern as well. So we've got these logic circuits in here. So what will happen is, if you look at that here, it says one diamond will create a engineering press. One one gold ingot will produce a, a logic circuit, and one certis pure certis quartz crystal will produce a printed circuit calculation circuit fairly straightforward I've done that bef before in the last series actually so I think I don't need to do that again so what's happening here is they will get made and then they will come out through this import bus and go back into the system and here what we can do on this one we can put another another pattern uh, an ME interface on this one like this and we can on this we can put the other three so we can put the uh, the calculation process logic processor and the engineering processor on here and they should automatically get processed so let's go and see if that works that's taking stuff out of the system I know oh I actually opened this doorway up by removing two blocks <laughs> at last I could get through the door without walking into it right and you'll see here now I've got these items actually here in the moon rock. I didn't have them before, before I put the storage buses on. So I might need to do Mars subsurface rock as well as another. Um, if, the, if it gets too full, we'll put that one in. So anything with a, anything over 10, well, 10,000 or 12, 20,000 may be worthwhile putting straight into this, into caches and storage buses onto those caches. Anyway, right, that was a slight aside. So now, We've done that. We want to make a calculation press. So let's have a look. Can we craft? We change this here to craftable. And first of all, let's have a look for what we've got for circuits. On take that back again. Let's have a look for circuit. So we haven't got any printed logic circuits. So let's make say ten of these next. So it's missing some gold ingots. Okay, that's not really a big deal. Let's get some gold. I've got gold blocks in the system. I think. Here we go. Let's put a couple of stacks of those in there, back into the system, and then we can probably cast the craft the circuits now. Let's do ten of these. So it's got no crafting CPUs available. Exactly. So let's go and fix that first of all. The next problem. I need to put the crafting CPU down. So CPUs, where are they? I should have them in here. That's applied in statistics. Here we've got one crafting CPU. It doesn't actually matter where I put this. Somewhere on the bus will do. Let's put it on the end here, like that. So we should be able to craft now. Well, at least we'll be able to craft these type of items. So let's try that again. Start. So after a few seconds, we should see some items coming in here. Here we go. So that is definitely working. If we go downstairs very quickly, we might even see the process. I'm not sure we will do because I didn't set it off to do that many. Oops, and especially if I'm going the wrong way. That's already finished. Look, shame. So I'll have 10 circuits in there now. So if I come along here now and I say I want to, uh, let's look for processors. I've got 52 already, but I haven't got any calculation processors here. Let's, calc let's craft 20 of these. So it now needs redstone. Okay, let's get some redstone. I've probably got redstone in here actually. Yeah, I've got 38 blocks. Just a block of redstone will do, I think. Let's get that. Actually, I'm a bit short of redstone. So we're going to, automate redstone maybe this episode i think or the next one let's try that again i'll just craft 20 of these huh so everything's there now we've got 20 available we've got 20 available printed silicon circuits so let's but i've got no crafting cpus available that's strange that should be okay why has we got no crafting CPUs available? Let's go over 
actually here will do I think we've got the crafting t it's crafting three of these logic circuits do you know I think they've been done and I don't think it's come back I'm not sure why that didn't work let's try that again let's do the processes So this time that should work. It's a bit strange actually, and that's all or circuits. Oh no, it only it only did seven. I wonder what's happened to those in that case. We haven't got any coming through here, so let's go downstairs and check. So we should have in here nothing empty empty everything's empty and we've got three gold oh that shouldn't have happened should it and that's what's blocking up the system so we take those out of there now and we'll see we'll get the 10 in here so obviously these gold have been passed across through all of those machines so what's wrong with this? It's got no power. That's also strange as it happens. Hmm. Because we should have power. I think I don't think the ME interface blocks power to machines. Maybe it does, having said that. Let's just see if that is the case. Oh, it is. So it is actually blocking the power. So that's well, that's okay. That's just that one that's the problem. So what we can do with this, then, of course, is to separate this away from those two machines. And in fact, it's actually wanting to import those machines back in here. Ah, very interesting. But it should have gone through the M interface, as far as I know. So let's just remove this one from here and put it down here. Let's remove the ME interface. Of course, that's going to make a bit of a mess because I'm going to get all those circuits with me. And this one we can actually now put in the middle here, can't we? We'll just put it down like that. And then it'll connect in power-wise. So we could remove this. That's actually sort of neater, isn't it? Suddenly so gone thoughtful because it's not working as I expected it to. So right, okay. So that's fine. So let's put on top of that now the ME interface, which is here. And then put in the three circuits. I'll just keep them in the same order, like that. So, so now that's charged up and we've got power. These don't need it because everything's going out of here and it should come back through the ME interface here. So let's try that. So first of all, we'll do us. We'll do some circuits again. This time we'll do five circuits. Um, we've got seven in here. Let's do ten again. Next, dart, and then we can. We could then come along and we could do the processes, couldn't we? And we haven't got any of these, but we can't do that until we get the 10 in here. 10. So that means this should then be clear, which it is good. Let's craft 10 of these. Let's start that. We could put these seven back in back now, so it doesn't matter very much. And we should get 10 into here as well. It seems to be taking its time. Is the ME interface not pulling items back in again? If that is the case, it's not such a problem to fix. We just need an input bus, but I thought that ME interfaces would do both import and export. Yes, you see, they're actually made. So all then we need to do is to take an import bus. This is an import bus. And I'm wondering if this actually allows it to power up. And I've said that. Put it there. And then we should be able to empty that out. Let's have a look. They're disappearing back into the system. 
Well, you get the idea. If I need to, I'll just add another cable on here to make sure it gets powered. But I don't think I can specify that this particular machine doesn't get items. Anyway, so that was that done. The next thing I'd like to look at today is optimization of these transfer pipes and fluid pipes. I was thinking about this and I'm going, well, actually, this isn't 100% efficient, especially here. Because in this here, if you look at what we've got here, we've got copper and tin. We've got more copper than we've got tin. Therefore, the nearest one should be copper on terms of decomposers. So in this one here, I've got tin. So they're basically in the wrong order. So can we dump the fluid, clear it out again? Don't need to actually. What we can do is simply come along here, remove the tin from here, and remove the copper from here. I'll do the same over here as well. Let's just check. We know that this is steel. And steel is iron and copper. Therefore, iron needs to be in this one, which it is good. And then the copper the carbon's over here. That's fine. So that's working fine. That's configured correctly. It was this one that wasn't. So let's go and fix that. So we need a bucket of tin and a bucket of copper. Well, there's a bucket of tin and there's a bucket of copper. Oh, gosh, I was efficient, wasn't I? I prepared that in advance as well. Whoops, too far. So here is the copper one that we want to be tinned. So let's put tin in the top here like that. And here is the, I don't think they'll block actually, we'll see. And this is the copper one. And eventually over time as we remove bronze from here, that will then become better. Um, the same isn't true for the carbon, it, because there's only this, I can't get out of here actually, sorry because this is going to not be working again because I have to take the book out and put it back in again for it to work. Now, I think the other process was this one. And I might have done this one wrong as well. So this is isopropene and this is the butane. Now, I think it would have been better to swap those two around because for the same reason. If we look in here, we need 16 butane to one isopropene uh, to make a ingot. So if we base it all a, a rubber. So basically in here we should have, except for one, th let me just think. Nope, we should swap the books over. Let's take this book out of there. And I think all I'll have to do is to take this book out of here and put this one into here like that. And then it'll make isopropene and this one will make butane and that should also be more efficient but at the moment we haven't got any carbon and because this is basically run out of methylene I could take some methylene and put some methylene in here to make sure it works fine let's just do that I should have methylene coming out of which process it's the water process it's the water process so that should be here so in here we've got 17,000 let's just take a stack of two stacks of that and then come over here and put those two stacks into wherever it's gone to into here like that so that produces the carbon and the hydrogen and then the nitrate they should then come onto here like that so we should see if I can click it that is nope up here we should see these coming in like that fine there that's making isopropene and we should also see them coming into here to make butane let's wait for the hydrogen to go up again oh that should be okay except i have a feeling that's blocked because it's got eight hydrogen and it should remove them there we go so we've got two is that about right? It looks like, that looks like it's working. Anyway, that was the optimization of these things. Let's just put, by now I should be able to put some more of these. Actually, not that many more. And then we can check underneath here, of course, what you've got to check is the extraction of these. So that's carbon, and that's actually the shortest one. And that's also a mistake, because the one at the back here is hydrogen. 
and we need more hydrogen and carbon. So if I swap these two over, take that out of there, take this out of here, put the hydrogen in here, and put the carbon, um, the carbon in here, that should also sort itself out. That's got two speed upgrades in it, and that hasn't got any. So if we take the speed upgrades out of, let's put one in each, that should balance itself out a bit better. So let's have a look. It's a bit strange. It doesn't look like this is actually working as it should do. Ah, oh, maybe the other side's full. So it can't get the stuff out of it. But that doesn't look like it's working either. It's got 864 carbon. It should have actually made a, a butane. Maybe I have to remove these two from the from the items in here, and let's take some carbon out. I'll put hydrogen in its place, and that's done the same. Well, that looks right to me, but it seems to be stuck. I'd ask me why. Maybe it's stuck because of this end. But it's a strange system sometimes mine came out it doesn't, i don't get it it doesn't always work as it's supposed to do anyway i don't need rubber at the moment so i'm not too bothered about that but i'll, I'll check it out and if i find anything un strange i'll come back so that was that the next thing i'd like to automate is the production of redstone because we're a bit short of redstone And to do redstone, what do we need? I've got some synthesizers here. Oh, I've got some decomposers and a synthesizer here. And some cable. Oh, and I made a molecular assembler too. Now, the molecular assembler here, actually, we'll do this today, I think. The recipe for this is also fairly straightforward. Oops, wrong way. Try again. It sorts it, doesn't it? It's fairly straightforward. We've made the formation course. So, quartz glass, we've also made. And just a crafting table in the middle we'll get a molecular assembler so we can take this molecular assembler now and put that on the side of this crafting unit here and then that will allow us to make other recipes so we can then craft other things that we don't can't craft here we haven't got any recipes in that yet and I think that was actually why I brought the ME interface in here as well. I've got two ME interfaces. So if I put an ME interface on here as well, like that, it can then we can actually put items in there to craft. At the moment, the only one I've got left in my box of tricks is this one, circuits. Now circuits, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put those. I need something else. I need some item conduit. I made item conduit as well. I did actually quite a lot of things over the weekend. Now the item conduits actually also was that did I do that this weekend? It's fairly straightforward nowadays. Well, it's basically the recipe for this was one eye vendor and one block of iron in the assembly table. I could have made that a long time ago actually. And we get one item conduit. So the recipe is fairly expensive. This one's cheaper pulsating nuggets that's probably the one I should be making really let's make some pulsating iron how do we do that it'll probably be if I'm going to be able to do this I'm going to be able to do this in the mixer that's a metal caster alloy furnace no I can't do this unless I can make some multi no maybe I can do that if I'm going to be able to do it, it's going to be done in here, yes. Liquid iron and resident ender will make some more. This will be the way to do item conduit as a cheap way. Well, so I didn't do it that way. I did it through the other way. That's why I only got two, because they're quite expensive. But I thought I'd automate this. So I've got some space there for a cable. If we put on here a molecular assembler like this, we'll just put it down. And then, no, sorry, an ME interface. And then we put this cable down here like this. 
Let's keep that. That now connects up. So we can then put this item in here. So we can make some electronic circuits. So let's see if we can do that. I've got two in stock. Let's see if we can craft two more. You can't. Let's just do one. They come in twos. So we've basically got everything available. So we can start that one. And let's go and see what happens. The items should appear in, should be sent through here and should appear in here. And as you can see, they have done. But this, what I can't do is I can't select this automatically. So there we are. And as you'll notice here, that'll start to work. And then it'll carry on. If we can, we can then create a second pair if we wanted to by putting another one in here. So if we do that, for example, let those finish. And I actually want to show you another problem I've got. This machine here is not getting enough power. See, it's full. It's just about empty. It's, it's not 100% full here. But if I speed up this, it doesn't. It runs out of power. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Put one speed upgrade on there like that. And it'll, this power will disappear by the time I get around to that. And the problem with here is this. This is the problem. The basic capacitor bank I've got here is connected to a, should take it out, can't see it from there. It's connected to a, dent, a heavy aluminium cable and you can see that's got no power in it. So to resolve that problem, you see it's starting to go down now. To resolve this problem, I intend to upgrade this basic capacitor bank. So let's make a second one of those. But before we do that, of course, Let's have a look in here. And we've got our two circuits. See, that's now still selected. Because that's still selected, then I can produce another two. So let's come along here and say circuit. Oh, you're probably going to complain because it's next. Because there are no crafting CPUs available. There's no crafting CPUs available because those circuits have not gone back into the system. So let's put those circuits back into the system. ME cable here, sporty wonder, uh, item conduit here. Let's set that to always active or active without signal. And then set that to insert. So then they should be taken out of here and brought into here like that, uh, which you didn't see because it's gone too fast. But they should now be in the system here. So look for circuit. And we've got our two circuits. So let's just complete this and craft two more, one more of these start that and this time we should see this coming on which was just done and when those get made which will be not too long it'll come out into there and then get put into the MEC system here I don't think I could put that directly on top but that might be worth testing swapping this for the chest here but also in here I've got rest I've made some basic capacitors they're pretty straightforward the recipe for those is a block of redstone, a block of gold, and a block of copper makes one of these. I actually made 30, because I thought we'd need them. What that allows me to do is to make one of these, a double layer capacitor. And the recipe for that, which you can't see, let's have a look for the uses of these. So 10 of those plus two energetic blocks of energetic alloy will make one double layer capacitor. Let's just check, empty. Let's come back into here before I do anything else, just to show you this all worked. We've got our two circuits. And there's nothing crafting, which is great. So we have got some good automation running now on that. But let's just do this one first of all. Let's make a double air capacitor. Done, that was very fast. We'll turn it off actually, because I don't want that again. Well, not for the time being. So that will now be in the system. Like this. So we've got one double air capacitor and I've got another 20 basic capacitors. So let's make a capacitor bank. 
I'm just umming and ahhing as to whether I want to make two of these things. Now, that's the that's the basic capacitor bank. So we're using four basic capacitors here. So basically, that's four blocks of gold, redstone, and copper. We'll make those. Let's have a look at the next one up, which is the capacitor bank. Now, this one here is 10. To make one of these, you've got to use 10 double air capacitors, uh, single air capacitors. So that would represent 40 capacitors, which is nonsense compared to this recipe. So if we use this recipe here, if we can, oh, I need a basic capacitor first of all. Let's make a basic capacitor. It's going to be a lot cheaper than doing it that way around. I'm going to just make one, and I'm going to go and get the other one from the from the machine over there. I think. Now nah, I'm gonna make two because I'll leave that. I will use that for other things. I think I'm sure of it. The basic capacitor now is this one. So this is the recipe. It's a lot cheaper than the other one by a long way. So we use that. I don't think we're gonna bother raising that as a as a problem. I think some of this stuff is a bit not quite ready yet shall we say so let's replace this basic capacitor down here like that put this capacitor bank down in here so this is now going to it's actually rf's coming into that so this thing should start to fill up better because it's got a it's got an io now of 5000 so it can output 5000 i'm not sure whether the cables can do with it let's have a look but that's now full of power. Didn't look at that before. And this one over here is also full of power. In fact, I was making iron plates in there, so that's good. And in this chest, I've got lots of, oh, I've got a whole row of them now, dense iron plates. And in fact, let's put my, oh, I've got just a spare bucket of tin. Have I got a spare bucket of copper? I just put those downstairs, I think. So in this episode, I think I've covered quite a lot of stuff. I missed some stuff out. Um, Cause it's really simple crafting stuff. I've not bothered to show you too much of, but let's go and get rid of this hydrogen. I'm not sure what's going on with these things here. They should be working just fine. We have still got our only got our two. So if we come along here and put, uh, it's got a stack of hydrogen in there. Let's put the carbon into that and half a stack of hydrogen. That should work. Why is it not working? The same here. This has got plenty of both. Stick some more hydrogen in there. That should work too. Take those, put it back in again. Does that work? Ah, of course it doesn't work because that's the wrong one. Oh no, that's right. So that's making isopropene. Yeah, fine, good. Ah, this is probably the problem, yes. That was the problem. So let's put the isopropene into here. Oops, try again. And then that should at least allow this to come in. So another two of those, but I've got a feeling it's still not working. Because there's no hydrogen in here. So why is the hydrogen not coming out? The hydrogen is now here. And that should go into here. No problem. It's only got 16 in. Very strange. Okay. So, I'm standing on some cable and I'm going to say bye for now. I'll see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's I've had a lot of content in this one. So, and maybe it's too much. Let me know anyway what you think. So until next time, bye for now.